Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. So at the end of the last part, I decided to switch up my clubs to balance out as many things as I possibly could. In this case, I got the Dynamo Woods, Oversized Irons, and the Well-Worn Wedges with off a switch pack to the shovel so I can do some digging uh, after the round. But for now, I'm going to focus on the round by giving myself as many clubs as possible using those sets. So, I am most certainly ready for my round, but I'm gonna say no, just to hear. Ah, no new dialogue. Alright, let's -a go! So, we're gonna be incognito for our round here, and the groundskeeper, or gosh, the gamekeeper is my caddy. Alright, nice, relaxed, casual round, and the birds, the, the birds are still not happy, as it looks like they're still gonna steal my ball. How do they get anything done with all these birds out? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is I'm gonna hit my ball. Oh, I wonder if I could do that um, driving range challenge now that I got these upgraded woods. Because look at my driver di uh, driving distance. It's at 245. That shows promise. <laughs> but for now, I'm just gonna focus on the round. We'll cross that bridge when we get back over to Well Worn Grove, I suppose. And... Oh, 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 oh! So close! I thought I had a shot there because the wind was just directly in my face, but I didn't quite anticipate the slope in its entirety. That's okay, though. I got a birdie. It, wouldn't it be funny if I could beat the course record, which was set by the teacher girl at 4 under on my first round here? That would be something. Oh, and I noticed that it's 9 holes again instead of 18, so I guess the courses in this game are all 9 holers, at most. At least, that's how it is thus far. I wonder how they grow it so thick. They, uh, I hate to say it, but there might be a lot of bird poop fertilizer, but, uh, details, details. Just don't, don't try to, like, taste test it or anything like that to figure it out. I assure you, you do not want to do that. <laughs> Just, just kind of take my word for it and just kind of do it by eye. Just try and figure it out that way. I think the wind and the slope are going to cancel each other out, so I'm not going to move it too much. And hope it goes in. Nailed it! <laughs> hey, look at that. It says 0 0.5 yards, even though I'm in the hole. Probably because the flag is technically in, which makes the, f the ball off-center a little bit. <laughs> That's my best guess. I have to check that in on like later holes to see if it goes to zero yards. All right, you keep doing your examining, and I'll keep doing my golfing. How's that sound? Sounds fun to me. Don't swing too hard; you'll damage the grass. Don't worry, I'm hitting off a tee on my first shot, and then after that, I'll just make divots the size of Texas. <laughs> um. Oh, I gotta. I probably have to do some curvatures here. Uh. I really don't know what I should be doing here. Uh, should go like over instead? That might be my best bet. I'll try that. And then just use the rough to slow my ball down. Woo! And... Ah, it's in the bunker. Man, it's like when the ball lands in the bunker, it always buries, or at least it looks like it, yeah. Uh, oh, that's terrible. Well, I'm on a par 5 anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter that much. This is, I guess, where my uh, two iron comes into play, because it's much easier hitting a iron out of a plugged lie than it is hitting a wood out of a plugged lie. Oh, well, at least it's sitting on top this time. <laughs> uh, I'm not getting out of these bunkers anytime soon, am I? Uh, I should be okay, actually. Just, just gotta land my ball in the rough. At least hope it lands in the rough. Whoops. Uh, oh, 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 that worked out! Oh! <laughs> like I said before, it seems like when I think I did a bad shot, it works out nicely. I'm already shooting the course record. Well, I mean, I guess I get to get bogeys and lose my uh, pacing, but I wouldn't count on it. I'm playing, <laughs> especially with the way I'm playing. All right. Um, ah, this is actually... This is quite a decision to make here. I'm gonna try and curve it around the trees from the left side and aim for that patch of fairway because it looks like it lo it'll have the most safety in terms of its landing. Oh well, okay. 
Yeah, what? Wow, that was not the patch of fairway I was aiming for. I wanted it to be more to the right where it was straighter, but okay. Okay. And this is another par 5. Uh, like I can't hit a driver off the deck. I, that, I wouldn't recommend that IRL, but uh, you could do it in the game. <laughs> oh, I didn't know, oh, I didn't know I was hitting through a tree. Whoops. Should have curved my ball. Should have checked my routes. Whoopsie doodle. Well, there's always a chance for that Mega Eagle, I suppose, as you've seen. Uh, make it a little higher. Anticipate the wind by hitting a little harder, and... Let her fly. No way, come on! Are you... Are you kidding? Come on! <laughs> There's a lot of par fives here, look at that. Four par fives on... <laughs> That's very unusual. It's usually two par fives and two par threes on one set of nine, and then the rest are par fours, and then it all totals up to par 72. But this game is as unconventional in golf as, well, you've ever seen before in any golf game. Perhaps it has something to do with the climate. But I do like unconventional. It mixes things up. And I am having a great time with this game, I've got to say. <laughs> Especially when I'm doing well like this, I gotta say. <laughs> that that makes things a whole lot better. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I don't know how I'm gonna land that. Cause it's like if I land that in the rough, it's probably gonna end up pretty short of the hole. But if I land it too short. It's, it's gonna hit the mountainside, and they won't be able to get up that. Hmm... I, I probably am just best playing it long so it's safe, and hope for the best. Because <laughs> I do not want to be off the cliffside, because I would not be able to hit my ball up that cliff. At least, I'm assuming I would not be able to hit my ball up that cliff, because that, that looks like a pretty, uh, pretty sheer rock face, I've gotta say. But then again, this is Golf Story, and you just never know with Golf Story. <laughs> um, let's see my angle here. Uh, I guess I'll have to do that. <laughs> the little precise movements there are always dicey. Okay, we're okay. It'll just be a par. <clears throat> like, really, really quick movements. It's kind of hard to get a feel for unless you play the game a lot when it comes to swing gauges. But I, I, I did that decently well. Alright. Next hole. Hole, oh, this one looks like a doozy. <laughs> Another par 5, but I mean with all the gaps. With all the Death Mountain <laughs> Fallout areas. Uh, I'll just kind of land over to the far edge as far as I can without going over. Like the price is right. There we go. Uh, I don't know where I'm going from here though. <laughs> I guess I'll just advance the ball wherever I can. Uh, I should probably try to land it in the rough. Just slow it down and land on a nice patch of fairway over there so I get a nice angle towards the green. Please don't get near the bird, thank you. <laughs> Alrighty. Next one should be on. That turned out well. Maybe it's not so much of a doozy after all. Uh, hit point nice and low so it goes nice and high for a stopping power. Yeah, so close. Can't expect to get them all in, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, move the slope. Beautiful! I will take it. Woo! Seven under par. <laughs> I think I'm gonna break the course record, guys. <laughs> oh, wow. This is a dangerous looking hole. Look how thin everything is. It's all starting to make sense now. He's using the power of groundskeeper science to figure this place out. This would really be an awesome course to play. If not incredibly dangerous, but still an awesome course to play. <laughs> Just don't don't hit your ball too close to the edge. And also, if your ball lands close to the edge, maybe maybe kick your ball over to the side a little bit. Maybe against the rules, but you'll live. <laughs> 
Mmm. Uh, I'm hoping that the rollout will be okay with this. Because I got a lot of green to work with. Mm. I was going to say, I got a lot of green to work with here, but... Eh, mm, totally misjudged that. But maybe I can get the birdie. Maybe. Might be. Perhaps. Let's see. Yeah. Ah! I thought that hit that hard enough, but nope. Nope. Much more uphill than I thought. But I'll take the par. That's okay. Par 3 coming up. Par 3s are probably um, the hardest holes on any golf course because they're always setting you up for one specific shot to the green as opposed to you setting yourself up. Uh, and it's usually something longer than what you'd normally have on approach shot too. So be wary of those par 3s and practice your long shots. In this case, I'm just kind of winging it. <laughs> nice. And I noticed um, there weren't that many birds like hanging around the holes like I thought there might be on the actual course. Like there were at the practice areas I could mess up my shots. Birds are a lot more forgiving on the actual course. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if I got 10 under par for 9 holes? On my first round through the course, that would be something. Oh, this looks like one of those sorts of holes that you could shortcut. We're good to go. Take us home. This looks like one of those sorts of holes that you'd be able to shortcut if you had a higher drive. Like, you'd just be able to go straight over to the pin. But I don't have that high of a drive, so I've got to take the long route. Uh, let's curve it around so it doesn't get in the birds. We don't want it in the bird poop. The bird poop is going to mess with our shots. And just land it over there. That looks like a nice, wide, safe area. Beautiful. Beautiful. You know, I do wonder about these birds, like, I bet you some of these birds would probably drop off your ball in the hole or something like that. Just based on how unconventional the golf game is lately, so... You just never know, maybe some of these birds are actually secrets that take you to victory. Oh! Close. That was almost an albatross. Holy poop. <laughs> but I'll take my eagle. Woo! Heck yeah, 10 under par. Wow, can't believe that. That wasn't too hard of a course though, at least the way that I played it. Or maybe I'm just getting the hang of the, the physics of the game more and stuff like that. Got a lot of moolah for that. Woo! Oh yeah. Um. I guess I'll keep increasing my drive to get my purity straightened out. There we go. Uh huh. Oh, oh I'm out. Okay. <laughs> Gotta pay more attention to that number. <clears throat> That's done it. I think I've harvested enough grass now. Wait, you were harvesting without. When were you harvesting? And that sounds illegal. Harvested? Yeah. That's like, you know, that's the same thing that I was joking about, that stealing, you know, getting one of those sod machines and just stealing a whole bunch of turf from them. That, that sounds like, like what he did. Look at those wheelbarrows. <laughs> I thought you wanted to study it. I'll study it when I get it back to the shed. Dang it. I think we've committed a crime here. Well, at least he did. If, if, if the cops come, I'm ratting you out. Good golfing, by the way. Thanks. Yes. Ten under par. All right, time to head home. I wonder if Coach knows about the club face knows about club face delivery. He probably does. Oh, blackout. Oh, we're done. We're done. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Uh, before I end off the part, I should probably see what's on TV since I'm out in the overworld. And then we'll get back over to Well Worn Grove in the next part. And this club can only be yours if you call in within the next five minutes. It's infomercial time. I believe this is the one favored by Max Yards, is it not? Exactly, Ken. And if you take a cl wait, didn't we see this before? Diagonal grooves! How would that even work? Wouldn't that make it spin sideways? And what does that do? I think it makes the ball spin. Yeah, see? <laughs> I know physics! Why would I want to do that? Perhaps you've got a hook. <laughs> Straighten out with diagonal grooves, yes. Yes, well I guess technically if all grooves are in the same direction, 
that's not illegal in terms of the USGA rules. There's vertical groove driver heads now. But I don't know why you'd purposefully want to <laughs> curve it on one side or the other, but okay, I, I guess. I guess. Unless they're supposed to be one way or the other, like vertical or horizontal. Who knows? Who knows? St microwave is still dangerous, huh? Hmm. I always keep it stocked with Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. I love those things. Hmm. I gotta go to the store. Anyway, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I head back over to Wellworn Grove and see where the story takes us.